Dorinda Baker, the Director of the Aircraft Certification Service, and I'm here with Earl Lawrence, Manager of the Small Airplane Directorate, to talk about the leading cause of general aviation accidents, loss of control. Loss of control is a significant, unattended departure from a stable, expected flight path. An airplane failure, incorrect piloting technique, or even unexpected weather can cause this transition from a stable to an unstable condition. These loss of control accidents come in several forms. Today, we want to address those accidents that are caused when the angle of attack of an airfoil exceeds the critical angle of attack and causes a departure from controlled flight, or more simply, a stall. So you may be wondering, why target stalls? It's because these make up more than 50% of fatal GA accidents. New technology is already being used in small aircraft to provide passive protection from stalling the airplane. In other aviation areas, such as Unmanned Aircraft Systems, or UAS, technology is being used that essentially eliminates any departure from controlled flight, which means... The new technology has the potential to make stalls a rare event in new airplanes. However, the complexity of regulations for developing some new aircraft and avionics has hampered the introduction of new and safer technology. The Part 23 rulemaking activity is designed to address these complexities and encourage new, safer product designs. That's right. We are conducting a complete revision of regulations governing the design of small airplanes. The new rule will establish high-level, performance-based safety requirements and include consensus-based methods of compliance for all Part 23 airplanes. The replacement of prescriptive design requirements with consensus standards is a significant shift from how we've done things in the past, but we still have a robust safety oversight system and will hold industry accountable for compliance. The move to performance-based requirements will improve safety, right? Oh, absolutely. The new Part 23 rule will encourage more innovation in new airplanes and raise the level of safety by addressing loss of control accidents. A primary gain from revising Part 23 is that new aircraft would be departure resistant. In other words, the aircraft would be able to remain in controlled flight and resist entering dangerous, uncontrolled maneuvers such as a spin. Stall resistance is expected to contribute more towards flight safety than the current stall recovery approach, which enables an aircraft to recover from an uncontrolled maneuver like a spin. Ah, uh, the link between innovation and safety. Sounds familiar. Revamping Part 23 supports two of the focus areas in AIR's 2018 vision, safety and organizational excellence. It's mandated through the Small Airplane Revitalization Act, and as such, it is one of FAA's highest priority rulemaking projects and critical to improving the safety of new airplane designs. I think we may need to explore this tie to organizational excellence. The organizational excellence focus area highlights AIR's commitment to being agile and responsive in meeting our mission. In today's environment, it's imperative that we keep pace. With the velocity of change and incredible advances in technology, we need to be open to doing business in new ways. Which is great, because the main objective of Part 23 is to move from prescriptive rules to consensus-based standards. This approach means bringing together industry experts, aviation authorities, and other interested parties to develop means of compliance that satisfy the regulations, yet offer the agility to keep up with technological innovation. That's where you come in. We need to develop new approaches to address the fatal accidents due to stall, and we need to do it together. And you know what they say, two heads are better than one. By not mandating one specific solution and incorporating industry expertise and input, we can ensure that we are targeting performance-based goals of the proposed Part 23, considering all alternative approaches to addressing loss of control, and developing the most innovative and effective solutions to our historical approach to stall-based accidents. Remember, safety is paramount and innovation is going to help us get there. A single mistake at the wrong time should not be fatal. Aviation safety has historically relied on multiple layers of protection, whether it's the design or operation. New Part 23 airplanes should be mistake tolerant, and stalls are a natural starting point because they represent more than half of our fatal accidents. We thank you for joining us and hope you will support the collaborative effort to reduce the number of loss of control accidents and increase safety in our national airspace system.